Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, y'all know how much this time of year, I'm talking February, it is so, so, so cold, but we do see spring like peering right around the corner. Warm weather is coming up, and I know a lot of you guys are also planning greeting week vacations and just spring break trips in general. And that being said, my hubby and I actually went ahead and booked a huge trip to Florida where we're gonna be doing a huge Caribbean islands cruise. But I do have a little bit of a dilemma. Y'all know how much fashion is important for me, especially when I go on vacation. So I have nothing in my wardrobe that is like warm weather appropriate. So that is where you guys are stepping in today and you're gonna be coming with me into the thrift store thrifting for an entire spring summer wardrobe in the winter. And being that I am actually thrifting for vacation, I am so excited to say that today's video is actually sponsored by Vite Canada. So with all the skirts and dresses that we're gonna be putting together, I'm gonna be sporting some super smooth legs that will just last me all vacation long. But more on that later. And for now, let's just go on ahead and look for those fun vacation looks. Unlike last year where I just wore a bunch of like oversized t-shirts, for this vacation, I definitely wanna have more of like a girly feminine vibe. And these are the kind of things I'm looking for. I'm looking for a bunch of like floral print dresses, little tops like crochet, mesh, mini skirts, so many different things like that. So we are gonna have a bit more of a focus in the women's section. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and check the women's skirts. And I do feel like the selection will be pretty good because it is winter time right now. So hopefully people aren't shopping for skirts as much. So I have a good feeling. <laughs> I've been wanting a little pleated skater skirt for so long. They're super retro and like 90s, perfect to style. I feel like this skirt could actually look so cute if only it was obviously more of a mini skirt because this is just a weird length. If this fits well in the hips, I may try to make a thrift flip out of it. All right, you guys, the music is getting a little bit loud. We are actually in the lingerie section. Satin silk dresses are super in right now. And I think especially for vacation, dresses like that are so fun. And even like, look at this dress. This is just like a nice little velvet mini dress. So gorgeous. I'm obsessed with the straight across neckline. Definitely a 90s style. And if you're into like leopard cheetah print for the spring and summer, you'll definitely find that here too. Honestly, some of these nightgowns are so beautiful. I'm just like, where am I gonna wear this? But even this dress, how beautiful is that? I just love this like front lacy tilling. Oh wow, this dress is so cool too. I told you guys that the mesh has been super in, but it kind of has this like tiger print behind it and this little ruching up top. And it's also a really long dress, has a little bit of that high-low action at the bottom. A little ambitious, but worth trying. <laughs> So in the dresses section, I actually found this like one piece pantsuit, kind of denim. I think it is so cool. It actually reminds me of one I used to have when I was younger. Funny guys, I actually found this like little gingham dress and I actually have the exact same one. You guys can see in this photo, I actually got it from ThreadUp. So cute, cute little denim dress, has a slit at the bottom. And I love how the ties here actually match the threading that is going on throughout the dress. I really hope this fits because this is so cute. Look at this, how freaking stunning is this and it's definitely in a small size and i absolutely love the coloring of this for one of the formal nights on vacation i have an entire little chanel inspired look i have to go with this right, you guys so i actually went through the whole tees tank top section and there's a couple pieces i wanted to show you first one is this little tube top you guys will actually see that i'm like super obsessed with this shiny stitching i found a dress like this in la and i absolutely love it so i have a tube top version of that and then i actually think i found every possible top in the same fabric i found a little v-neck tank top version as well it's a little halter top with like a cinched V right here. This definitely needs to be tried on so we can see, but just like look at how shiny that is. And then I thought this one would be super cool as a swimsuit cover up. It actually just has like one single button holding it together. But just imagine a cute little like red bikini underneath. So a style that's been coming back that I've been really loving has just been these like thin dainty strappy heels. I've been talking about these since last year. I feel like these shoes could actually look so nice on so I do want to try those. These have like the whole holographic clear strap with a mini heel and like even a clear heel. How cool is that? But they're definitely falling apart so I'll pass on them. But I still wanted to show these to you guys because I feel like they're so cute. You guys, I am so sad that these don't fit. They're literally like my dream 2000s shoe. Whoever fits in these will be so freaking lucky. I did find this little bag though. It's actually just a padded little bag with a gold chain. I feel like this will be really good for the night's out. And the fact that it's a gold chain is perfect because you know me, I always wear gold accessories. All right, you guys, so basically it is the next day and I actually want to go ahead and do an entire haul of everything I picked up. And that includes a bunch of different clothes that I'm gonna be sporting on vacation. And I'm so excited to show you these. Hopefully they'll give you some inspo on what you guys can wear in the coming up spring or even if you're going on vacation yourself. There's also like a bunch of shoes that I picked up and accessories that I wanna go ahead and show you too. And because I noted I'm heading to a warm climate where I'm gonna be showing a lot of leg, especially when I'm wearing skirts and dresses. You guys will even notice in the try on haul, my legs are super, super smooth. And that is actually all thanks 
to our sponsor today and that is V Canada. Especially going on vacation, I'm actually somebody who does not like to shave because I have super, super irritated skin. Whenever I go ahead and shave, especially when it's frequently, it really causes redness and rashes and I get all itchy and it's no fun. Plus, let's admit ladies, especially when you're on vacation, there's nothing more irritating than having stubbly legs. So instead, I love using Beats Wax Strips because not only are they easy to use, using these waxes, I can be really confident that I can get up to 28 days of smoothness that will just last me all vacation long. And I really mean it when I say these are so easy to use. Instead of like traditional hot waxes that you have to microwave and they kind of get all over the place, these actually come in prepared strips. And then just like traditional wax strips, you just pull against the hair growth. And it's really like a dummy proof, super easy way to make sure you get salon quality waxes right at home. Each box comes with 20 wax strips and two finishing wipes. So once you go on ahead and give yourself a good wax, you can actually remove all that leftover stickiness using the wipes and it truly feels so soothing and nice. This easy gel wax is perfect for sensitive skin too because it actually has aloe vera and vitamin E, which is really good for someone whose skin gets easily irritated like me. And because I have so much to do before my vacation, like get my hair done, my nails done, my lashes filled, having an option like this to wax at home honestly just saves me from having to do another pre-trip errand. And what I really love about these little wax strips as well is I can actually go ahead and pack them into my luggage and then that way if at any point on my trip I feel like I need to do any little body touch-ups, I can just go ahead and know that I have peace of mind having these in my luggage. So if you're looking to finally come out of hibernation like me and get so super smooth, you can actually find Veet at all major retailers like Shoppers Drug Mart and Walmart, or you could just find them online on Amazon or Walmart.ca. And with all that being said, thank you again to Veet Canada for sponsoring today's video. And now let's go on ahead and do the huge vacation thrift haul. Most of these items you guys actually saw me pick up in the Thrift With Me vlog, but I actually have a couple items that I picked up at a different thrift store as well that I wanted to share too. And let's start off with some fun, fun tops. This first one, you guys saw me talk about it. I am so obsessed with this like little sparkly stitching. I mentioned in the past that when I was growing up, my mom actually used to sew clothes and she used a lot of this like sparkly stitching all the time. So it makes me super nostalgic and I really love the way that this top fits. I like that the fabric has a bit of shine to it so I could dress it up on days that I want to. Next piece I picked up was this little Lacoste top and I remember that in high school, people used to wear Lacoste a ton, but a big trend for the spring and summertime is actually collars. I feel like making it into a little crop top definitely will give it more of that Brandy Melville style, especially with the button details here at the front with the pair of jeans, such an easy look to pull together. Yes, I'm really obsessed with tank top, especially for the spring and summertime. So another one I picked up was this one. It's just this baby pink that has this really cool kind of diamond trim pattern here at the front. And based on previous videos, you probably know that I really love thrifting for 2000s styles. Like the early 2000s, I feel like was so fun when it came to fashion. If you follow me on Instagram, you actually saw me post a story of finding this top. Um, and even though it wasn't on the same thrift trip, I had to include it. I found a reformation piece, which is insane for like $4.49. I'm pretty sure and honestly every piece of clothing from there is pretty much what I aspire to thrift whether with like a mini skirt Maybe a denim skirt or even a pair of jeans I find it such a beautiful color and you could just tell that it's also really well made So I'm so happy and excited about this piece All right This next top is from the brand Amaryllis and it's pretty much just this little colored shirt But it has all these like frilly ruching here in the front I already know how I'm gonna style this with like a pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys giving it like a really modest but Very girly vibe. I'm really excited. All right. These next two pieces are actually kind of of the same thing in two different colors and I've mentioned to you guys before that I have been so in love with cardigans I used to wear cardigans like these all the time when I was in grade school They're just like these little frilly ones that you actually just throw over your tank tops or whatever So I have that little white one and then I actually found a very similar one in a black But the way that I envision styling these two little cardigans is one You could either just wear it on top of a bikini or two just wear it with like a nice little tube top or a nice bodysuit A really like lacy bralette and then a really high-waisted slip skirt or something You can truly take a piece like this and make it into a nice evening look. So keep your eyes open for little style cardigans like this. I have two little t-shirts I wanna show you. No idea what it says. I just absolutely loved this graphic, but I actually have a really fun thrift flip in mind for this t-shirt. So you guys will just have to wait and see what I go ahead and do with this. And then another t-shirt I found that was uh, super appropriate was this huge oversized Harley Davidson tee. I don't know how authentic this is because it feels very new, but you know what? Mexico is one of the stops that we're gonna be going on the cruise. I just thought this would be a fun t-shirt to go ahead and bring along as well. All right, y'all, so now let's go on ahead and get into the little bottoms that I thrifted, and I have a couple skirts to show you. I don't remember if I vlogged this, but I actually found this on the go back rag before I was leaving the change room, so it was like such a score. As you can see, it's just a patterned little mini skirt, super simple, but this just fits so freaking beautifully on. Ideal spring skirt. I've been seeing Reformation make skirts like this, Princess Polly too, so I'm really excited to have picked up this one. I think it was only three or four dollars too. This next skirt is actually from the brand Miss K, which definitely looks like more of a vintage brand, and it's just a straight little mini skirt and it has the nicest like minty pastel green colors going on throughout you know me comfort is key so this way you can still look girly 
elegant and cute, but be comfortable by wearing nice white sneakers. And as you guys saw in the lingerie section, there's so many different styles of like dresses and skirts and little cami tops in this like silky satin material. And especially styling them for summer, they are so fun. But I especially love the little lace trim here at the bottom. Even if you have like a bigger size t-shirt or oversized t-shirt to throw on on top of this. Okay, two little dresses. This one you guys saw, it is that black velvet 90s dress that we picked up from the lingerie section. But like I mentioned, square necklines with thin spaghetti straps is my absolute favorite go-to style and silhouette of a dress. I personally feel like it's really flattering on my collarbone area and it definitely resembles a 90s fit. I mean, this is definitely how I'm gonna be styling this dress on the cruise, channeling my inner Jennifer Aniston and getting all excited to wear it. But you guys, look at how insane this beautiful little mini dress is. I mean, this is giving me total Chanel vibes, definitely something that you would have seen from the movie Clueless. I already love dresses in this like plaidish style print and the fact that it's like a beautiful light blue pastel. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shoes. And the first pair of shoes I'm gonna show you is something I cannot wait to style with this dress. And it's these little patent Mary Jane style shoes. How freaking cute. I mean, I know that they're not everybody's cup of tea, but now I personally feel like these are such fun shoes to style. Again, just making me so nice nostalgic of the 90s. Just imagine this dress with these shoes with like white little ruffle socks peeking out and they have that really thick chunky sole which again is something that is coming back right now. The second pair of shoes are definitely less of an out there statement shoe and it is just these little semi square toe heels. These are from Lake Chateau and I've actually wanted a pair of basic heels like this for a really long time and the obvious way to wear these is just like with a dress or a skirt but I personally see me wearing these with some really baggy style mom jeans. I mean how cute would that be with a little crop top? And then the last little accessory you guys saw me thrift is actually this patent little flat bag and the main reason I wanted this is for those evenings where we have dinner on the cruise I didn't want to go and carry a big bag so instead I would just throw my phone into this and this bag also just sits in the perfect place the chain is like not too long I can wear this with a nice classy dress but even with like a baggy t-shirt and jeans how cute would that look okay you guys that is it that is everything that I went ahead and thrifted for my vacation I really hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did but being that I have a little bit of a thrifting addiction I may go on ahead and thrift some more before I leave on my vacation next week so definitely stay tuned to see more like spring style wardrobe content and if you don't already go ahead right now and follow me on Instagram if you want to see me style these pieces if you want any kind of thrift inspo whatsoever I tend to wear something thrifted in every single one of my pieces so hopefully that will help you guys out when heading into your own thrift stores plus my most recent post I actually uploaded with Veet includes a giveaway for you guys so definitely go on ahead and check that out I'm gonna leave it down below in the description you can just go and follow the rules of the Instagram post to see how you can have a chance to win yourself some fun Veet products but other than that Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below and join our amazing family. Love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one.